Ten bathtubs full of water. That's how much rain pours off one average size house during a good sized rainfall drenching. In a typical year, approximately 26,600 gallons of runoff rushes through gutters and out of the downspouts of one single home. Multiply that amount times a neighborhood and the volume of runoff gets huge. It drains to our waterways and can quickly produce a raging stream that floods basements, erodes the stream bank if it is without vegetation, and this stormwater can transport pollutants like oil, grease, toxic pesticides, and fertilizers to sources of drinking water, places we fish, and other waterways that are important to our local economy. What if we could capture the rainwater naturally and let it soak in slowly? Some folks did. It's called a rain garden. What is a rain garden? A rain garden is an attractive bowl-shaped plant garden designed to capture, soak up, and filter rainwater before it enters local water bodies. Stormwater is directed to the rain garden and then the water is pre-treated by infiltrating through a special soil mix. At times of a heavy rain, any excess water goes into an overflow drain to an existing retention pond and released in a controlled way. Recently, we visited with Milton Lady, White Township Manager in Indiana County, Pennsylvania, to talk about the rain garden installed in October 2014 at the White Township Municipal Building. We asked Milt what he learned from doing this project about cost and maintenance for rain gardens, whether he was satisfied and would recommend rain gardens to other municipal officials as a way to manage storm water. Back when the gravel parking lot was going to be repaved, we knew storm water management would need to be addressed. So the staff got together to talk about alternative ways to handle the water runoff that could contribute to flooding or possibly polluting nearby streams. One of the ideas brought up was the idea of a rain garden. So we did some initial design work with a civil engineer and realized that a rain garden would be a good solution. We can capture that water and pre-treat it by allowing the special soils and appropriate plants to filter out pollutants, contaminants, and other substances that could be harmful to your local streams and waterways. Being sensitive to taxpayers' dollars, we wanted to make sure we had proper design, adequate communication with the public, and a plan to maintain this structure. We're happy to be partnering with the Stormwater Education Partnership to bring to the public the benefits of the rain garden and give other officials information so they can decide if this is right for their community. The partnership is comprised of the League of Women Voters of Indiana County, the Indiana County Conservation District, the Office of Planning and Development, White Township, Indiana County, Evergreen Conservancy, and the Indiana Community Garden. The design and installation of the 120 by 40 foot garden totaled approximately $21,000. The township is covering all the costs because stormwater management is something we needed to do anyway. However, educating the public and other officials is being covered by a Water Resources Education Network grant that was obtained by the Stormwater Education Partnership. So yes, cost is a factor, but compared to alternatives, rain gardens are low cost, easy to install and maintain, and very effective at filtering polluted runoff from rooftops, driveways, and parking lots, especially if placed in clusters and neighborhoods. If we can slow that water down and let the spreading roots of the native plants do their job, then we can potentially reduce local flooding and pollution. Every drop of rain you keep on your property helps to keep our local waters clean. You can make a difference by installing rain barrels, rain gardens and planting trees, and educating yourself. The plants that are used attract birds and butterflies. Mosquitoes are not an issue because rain gardens are designed for the water to soak in before the mosquitoes have a chance to breathe. If rain gardens are done on a community-wide scale, a municipality may be able to avoid adding more pipes or at least ease the burden on existing stormwater drains and pipes, a costly renovation. At a minimum, a rain garden provides a beautiful landscape and one that acts as a sponge to filter and purify dirty stormwater, which can then release clean water to our local waterways. Clean water means safer, more enjoyable outdoor recreation experiences such as hiking and fishing. A rain garden does require maintenance. It needs to be watered during dry periods that first growing season and will need to be weeded until the plants fill in. But once the plants take root that second and third year, 
They tend to outcompete the weeds, so that task becomes less frequent. Other maintenance tips include do not deposit plowed snow into the rain garden because it will hinder the garden from working properly. Rake the mulch in the top layer of the garden to allow for continuous drainage. Routinely check inspection ports and overflow pipe for blockage and replace any plants that have died. Lessons. A rain garden must be properly designed to avoid failure. This includes using the right soil mix and rain garden friendly plants. In heavy soils, an under drain may be a good idea. A rain garden should follow a maintenance plan, especially during the first year of planting. There are many websites with tips and sample designs. Conservation districts and master gardeners can help provide advice on how to go about installing a rain garden. Be sure to ask for help. Everyone can do their part for clean water and help beautify their yard with a rain garden. They can be an effective way to reduce local flooding and water pollution. They slow down fast moving water and act like native forests by filtering, storing, and releasing clean water to our streams and rivers. And rain gardens are cheaper than adding more pipes. Rain gardens can be a home and source of food for songbirds and butterflies and can keep impurities out of our reservoirs and rivers. To learn more about stormwater management in your community, contact the Indiana County Office of Planning and Development. Indiana County Conservation District, 2-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4